If you put Kelsey Grammer and B.B. Newworth in the same film together, and a musical film at that, I am without a doubt going to watch it. I am, of course, talking about the 2009 film Fame. I had seen Fame on stage before seeing this. It was about eight, seven or eight years ago I saw it on stage and I really liked it, so I was very keen to see the film. And I have to say that this film is quite different. The The fundamental aspects were there. It's about a group of young students, 16, 17, 18, who go to the New York Academy of Performing Arts. And it looks at dancers, singers, actors, musicians in their journey from being juniors and getting accepted into this rather prestigious school and growing throughout the school to their senior year, learning about the industry, developing their talents, coming up against some very harsh criticism and kind of the trials that they face. And basically just learning the truth about how brutal and bitter the arts industries all are. So that's, you know, the principal aspect of it there is very much the same. But there are a lot of things about this film that I feel are quite different, but not necessarily in a bad way. So as I said, the film was released in 2009. It is directed by Kevin Tancherion, and written by Alison Burnett. And honestly, I loved it. I have to say, there won't be any spoilers in this. No, there definitely won't be. I have to say, though, the soundtrack is very different. The soundtrack, I don't know off the top of my head if there are any songs in it that crossed over. But to be honest, there aren't that many musical numbers in it. There are a couple where you have big flash kind of mob dances. But for the most part, this wouldn't carry itself across well onto stage, this soundtrack. So there is a lot, if you are very familiar with the stage musical and very familiar with the original soundtrack, this might be quite jarring for you because it's not really the same. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. We do have at the beginning a lot of people auditioning. It starts off with the auditions and it's very lively and energetic and great fun. And then I'd say maybe 20 minutes in, it turns a little bit serious and you can tell that the hard work has begun. And from this point you know that there will be highs and there will be lows as we follow these students. There are several students, I'd say four, maybe five students whose journey we follow specifically. There is a classical pianist who wants to spread her wings but is suppressed by her father's, I guess, strict rules. There's a boy who wants to become an actor but he has some anger issues because of something in his past. There's a girl who starts out quite shy and nervous, who is maybe too trusting of some people. And my favourite is a boy who wants to be a filmmaker. Absolutely loved him in this. Absolutely brilliant. Obviously for me, um, also we have a dancer, um, a ballet dancer as well, who... He he doesn't seem to have much of a role in it until about two-thirds of the way in, and then he becomes exceptionally prominent. And his scene, I can't really say what happens without spoiling it, but hopefully you'll know what I'm saying if you've seen it on stage. His scene is the most emotional part of the film. It is the pivotal turning point for the characters' journeys and realisations. On stage that is much more powerful and I think because it actualizes itself on stage it's not just hinted at it's done it's very different that character's journey is very different on the stage version and I think because you're in the room as well it's a lot more atmospheric so I will say it's not as uh, effective in that way on the film but I don't think that's much of an issue so everything for me in terms of the the you know, the mix of characters, the soundtrack was not as expected, but still very good. We saw, we didn't really see any of their school lessons in terms of, in fact, we didn't, did we see anybody being taught anything? We did dancing, yes, we saw some dance classes and we saw some kind of tutoring, but there wasn't really many scenes of them being taught things. It was more about their own growth and their own personal journeys around and within the school rather than in the classroom which worked very well i would have liked to have seen some more of the teachers doing some teaching we had a couple of um 
acting lessons as well, which is very good. So it's ticking all the right boxes for me. The highlight, even though it's not as powerful as I'd wanted, for me was, of course, Kelsey Grammer and Baby Newworth. Now, unfortunately, they did not have a single scene together, which was a little upsetting, but still absolutely brilliant. Uh, Newworth plays a dance teacher, and Kelsey Grammer plays, well, a music teacher. Is he just the piano teacher or a music teacher? I'm not sure, but he plays the piano teacher. He's in it slightly less than Newworth, and when he's in it, he's usually pretty silent. So they do have very, very minor roles compared to the rest, but I still think it's, you know, it's completely worth watching and just absolutely glorious. The film was not what I'd expected. It didn't deliver what I thought it would. But it was absolutely incredible and I thoroughly enjoyed it. If you haven't seen it on stage, don't worry. You don't need to have done. It's very much a different interpretation or a different way of presenting it. Also, the final, the finale, loved it. Brilliant film. If you haven't seen Fame, definitely watch the film. And I will say, even if you don't like the film for whatever reason, still try and see it on stage because I feel like it's a different experience. If you've had a chance to see it on stage and you see the film, do let me know which you prefer. I loved the stage show. It was very powerful. But being a diehard, madly in love fan of New Earth, and Kelsey Grammer, I have to say that this film is a bit marvellous.